hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to learn how to add the pricing to a product so you can see i'm having a product that name is a product one but currently it does not contain any pricing plan so in earlier video we saw how to add a pricing plan if you click here you can also add but in this tutorial we are going to see how to add through our codes <laughs> So already we have a product okay now we have to add the pricing plan to that product so how we can achieve so I will just go copy this line currently we don't need this one because we already created our product then here I will just rename as a plan parameter so first what we have to do first we have to give the amount so amount that will like integers will just give you 5000 then I will copy this line because we are going to keep using this line then we have to add different parameter so next thing like interval so interval is like how you are going to achieve this one like monthly or weekly so currently I will start with like monthly okay next thing like we have to give your currency so like you can add here your currency types so I'm just going with here currently dollar USD next one like we have to add the product so already we have created our product okay so if you come here you can see we are having one product ID here you can also see here right so I will just go copy this line and I will paste here so this whole thing we have done like this is our parameter now we need to create the plan so what how we can achieve plan p equal to plan dot create so inside create we have to give our parameter so that means like prime parameter then we have to close so this is done now I will just run this one so once I will run you can see currently we are getting here one exception so why we are get, getting exception because here it is expecting month week year so you can see a given here wrong so we have to take care about this one so now we will again run so once I will run here you can see I am getting some plan here you can see plan ID is also here so now if you come and just refresh the screens so once you refresh you can see you got here some plan of that product here you can see one plan already we got that is here $50 suppose for one product I need to add one more plan pricing plan so what we can do here I will just come and change into like $10 okay. again I will just run and you can see again you will get response so what is going here again you will have to refresh the screen so once you refresh you can see for one product we are having different different plan so how much you want to create plan for one product you can create so in next video we are going to see how to delete the pricing.